Hello, it's Steve Overgaard with Signature Craft, and I'm at 6100 Moss Creek Court in Woodlake, and we're going to do a crawl space inspection at the back and also at the side door. This is one of the areas that we're going to check simply because it's underneath a doorway and you see a lot of rot underneath doorways, although this one is covered, so it is probably going to be okay. We're just going to check. This area here is an area of concern, so we'll look at this area. This is an area of concern, so we'll look at this area. And this would be an area that would be suspect as well. This is the crawl door and it's been outfitted with a ventilation type screen. And then looking inside, I'm seeing a fan um, that's been installed. So um, there's some sort of a ventilation system already installed in the crawl space, which is great. Okay, just inside the crawl space door, um, crawl space does not feel wet to me. The ground is dry. It's powder dry. That's great. So, so far so good. I noticed there is some discoloration on the joist. At this section of the house, the joists are two by eight and the spacing is 12 inches on center. Pick it into the front section. The spacing is different. I'll get a measurement on these joists because they're different. I just pulled a measurement on that and the front is two by eight joist with 16 inch centers. There is a uh, solid masonry center beam. I'm not noticing drilled holes in the foundation blocks indicating that there was a termite inspection done prior. Got some loose ends with the wires that should be in the junction box and covered with a protective cover. I'm seeing way up in the crawl space, probably another 30 or 40 feet, another one of those uh, ventilation fans. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> okay, just something I'm noticing that um, this is the second ventilation fan. Hang on, let me see. This is the second ventilation fan, and um, the shroud is not protected at all, and I can see where the insulation is starting to come down, so uh probably this insulation is going to continue to come down little by little and then get you know pulled through the fan i don't know if you're worried about that or not but there's some, some laying there and some hanging here too so at some point in time think about having the insulation um replaced it doesn't last forever something else i noticed too something else i noticed is these uh copper pipes which are great they have copper pipes but they're they really need to be supported to the joist and they're not. They're just kind of hanging there. So recommend it. You know, go through and put some hangers on them. I guess I'm about two thirds of the way <coughs> to the side door and I've just run out of crawl space room. I, I'm not going to be able to fit up in here to get all the way. I might be able to go around and come back from the other side, but this route isn't working. Okay, this is kind of in the middle of the house. It's a room that juts out. Um, looks like it may have a fireplace along the, the back wall. Just going to kind of check. I'm seeing some like water type discoloration up in here. What in the world is that? Yeah. Okay, this is in that corner of that room and see right here <coughs> there's some deterioration in that <coughs> sill plate <coughs> not terrible but it's it's looks looks wet number one and it's let's see. yeah it's real kind of soft too with the prodding I think the thing to do be probably to cut that um, support this cut this out here and then we could go from here to here with solid block and then and then put it put another piece back in there <coughs> really tricky working spaces looking up in the cavity there doesn't look bad at all okay
uh, insulation missing, discoloration on the floor joist. Smells, this room kind of smells a little bit on the musty side too. Some of the block work here at the fireplace seems to be coming down too. There's that spot right there. And then there's another spot over here. <coughs> would think that they would have something underneath it supporting this, but it's not. It's just kind of cantilevered into the, uh, with lentils, cantilevered into the foundation. And then the hollow core center blocks <coughs> are laid on top without being mortared together. And they're breaking at the seams there and there. And just kind of filled in there. Right, there's an air vent there and it is closed so probably what we want to do on this is get some automatic automatically opening vents and then here's a duct that goes into the house that there's nothing attached to it and there's one right beside here so maybe it's possible it was relocated when the house was built or something like that Not finding any rot here, but lots of discoloration <coughs> and rust. It's damper. This crawl space area here is a lot damper than the rest of it. Let's see how the the soil is not not wet. About two thirds of the way. <clears throat> Again. Uh, from the crawl door over to the other side to the driveway side I'm noticing the foundation wall is offset here <coughs> Not sure why Looks like there may be some mice Or something taking up residence here along the foundation wall and then the insulation is down too and um, I can see that the nests there's Some nests being built in the insulation this is the condensate lines here, and uh, they're coming from that one of those room extensions. Comes here, and then they do kind of a humpy bumpy. So, and it's supported by a zip tie, and it's only one, and it's got a couple of loops and stuff like that in there. So, I would recommend on that one too to support that every couple of feet to the joist above so that it's got a nice. Um, even slope what will happen is the condensate will back up and then it'll overflow in the house this is the entrance to the back room which is furthest away from the driveway the same exact story with the discoloration on the joists and the insulation is falling down this is <clears throat> a little unusual um, on these joists it looks like there may have been a prior repair the I think that's an original and it's it's held on with a joist hanger and then beside it is another joist um looks newer and i'm not sure how that is attached if at all all right i'm getting near the back right corner of this section and there's a, a bigger nest hole there <coughs> <coughs> that's bigger than a mouse Okay, on this end, this goes back to the prior repair, so <clears throat> really it's not that horrible. Um, on this end, what's happened is <clears throat> this is the uh, joist end, and you can see it's <clears throat> had some deterioration here. So they laid another joist <clears throat> alongside of it. <clears throat> they got it up on the sill plate which looks fine no problem there and then they ran at the the length of the um room which is fine again no problem there and then they tied it in with the tico at that end the issue with that in my mind is that the tico is really only held um to that 
beam wall with two or three tiny little nails. Um, however, <clears throat> the deterioration is only on this end, so it's a little bit of an overkill as far as the repairs go. And <clears throat> if there's no sagging or anything like that on the inside of the house that's noticeable, what I would recommend is just kind of walk down the joist with timber locks. Um, you put two on that end and then you walk them down one high, one low, one high, one low, all the way down. Um, the length of the, the length of the joist, but it's not terrible. <coughs> and you can see this joist end here is just deteriorated horribly, but they've got the new one alongside of it. So it's okay. <coughs> Same exact story with this one here. The joist end is deteriorated in that one. So that's why there's all the prior repairs and it's really, it's not completely complete, but it's more of an overkill. So easily fixed. Lots of insulation down in this in this section. I'm over near the left wall of this back <coughs> this back room, and um, you can see right here. This is the last double joist. So there was one, two, three, four, four that were not done. <coughs> I'm just gonna go out to the end and take a look at the joist ends. That may not be a problem, so they might not have needed to be done. This is the the second to the end joist pocket and these these joist ends here are just fine no problem at all